Well, hello, Mega Maniacs. It's Mr. Mega Man Fan. It's time for the Retro Hunting Adventures, and I'm at Ben's Game Zone. So we're gonna see what Ben has today. Maybe something I need, maybe something I don't. And then I'll report back at the end of the video and hopefully have some good things to show you. So stay tuned. The Retro Hunting Adventures start right now. Yo, this is Mega Man. And you need to rock and or roll on over to Mr. Mega Man Fan's YouTube channel because it's all that rush to make it happen. <laughs> Peace! Now as usual at Ben's Game Zone, I have to mute the audio because in-store radio is playing pop hits from the 80s and 90s. That's okay though, I'll provide my own voiceover and my own music for this video. I'm looking through their GameCube selection the number of GameCube games that I need still is continuing to dwindle, but this MLS Extra Time caught my eye. Sadly for me though, there was no manual inside, so I put it back. And I'm over to the S's and the T's, and I see something I might need here. Uh, the price is too high on second sight. I'll think about it for a little bit, but it's not even in the original. GameCube case. It's in a replacement DVD case. You can always tell because it doesn't have the little holder for the memory card. So that plus the price probably means I'm not going to get it. And Mutant Melee. Well, let's see if the manual's in there at least. If it's complete, that's decent, I suppose, but still over what it goes for on price charting. So I have to think about that one for a little bit. I need all three of the Tide the Tasmanian Tiger games, one through three, but I have a hard time finding them at a price I want to pay with the manual inside. This one at least does have the manual, so again, I'm going to have to think about that one for a little bit. But let's move on to the Sega CD and Sega Saturn games. One of the things I really do appreciate about Ben's Game Zone is that they have a plentiful selection in this section. They even have a Sega Saturn controller here that I've never seen before. It's got some turbo switches and it looks programmable. I'm gonna guess this is for arcade fighting games because it looks like the kind you would use to play anything from Tekken to Street Fighter, so I'm guessing that's the purpose. I didn't know the price would be right or wrong on that, so you'll have to tell me if I should go back for it because I didn't pick it up that day. $10? Doesn't seem unreasonable, but it just depends on how much use I would actually get out of it. So, let's continue looking through the Saturn selection, see what I can come up with. And we've got some imports up here. Wizards Harmony, only five bucks. You know what? I think I'm gonna hang on to that one. Let me take a look and see if there's anything extra inside, any end card or trading cards or anything like that. Nope, just the instruction manual. Arc System Works, though. That's a familiar name to me, so I feel like this one might have some potential if I can figure out what the heck I'm doing in it reading Japanese. And we've got some more imports. This one is called World War II, and probably not going to play that one too much, so I'll pass on that. And this one is called Eternal... Harmony. And what's this double wide one over here? Let's see. Sentimental Graffiti. Why do I feel like that's probably the name of an anime series? Oh, and this one has some extras inside. There were some nice art cards in that one, so I'll have to consider that one for a little bit. Looking at these Sega CD games and Dreamcast games. I don't want to buy any loose disc Dreamcast games, so I'm looking at the complete ones, but unfortunately I have Mortal Kombat Gold, Rippin' Riders, Sydney 2000, Tom Clancy, UFC, WWF Attitude. Nope, don't need those. Don't need a sealed copy of NXS for a Sega CD. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, there's a few Sega CD games that I could use, depending on the prices some Saturn games, but I didn't end up getting any of them because they were all out of my budget. Much as I'd like a copy of Mad Dog McCree, it's not in the bank right now. Nor is that sealed Sega Saturn copy of 
Street Fighter the movie. Maybe it'd be less if it was loose, but I can't afford it in pristine condition like that. Faceball? I think I need that SNS game. I'll have to check my list. Didn't have it in front of me while I was filming this class case. I see they've got a Super Scope 6 in there. That's always nice to see. If it wasn't such a battery hog, if it wasn't so unwieldy, I'd probably pick it up, but I think I'll have to pass on that for now. I didn't even ask what the price was. If it was cheap enough or I got it at a garage sale, maybe that's something I'd hang on to because I do need a Super Scope 6 at some point. And what do we got here? Where in the world is Carmen Sandiego? Complete in the box. And some more SNS games. Somebody wrote PPG on there. I don't think they meant the arena in Pittsburgh. Probably the initials of the person who owned it. And we got some decent titles in here. Again, nothing I need urgently. I'm kind of curious when I see a blank spot because I assume that means somebody just bought something and they haven't had time to fill it back in yet. So, wondering what those blank spots were. All right, so I'm back from my excursion to Ben's Game Zone, back in my own garage where it's nice and cool. And here's what I picked up. I got World Cup 98 for Nintendo 64. So now I'm down to 35 N64 carts I need. It's a nice little improvement. And I got Space Chimps for Nintendo DS. I don't know, it just amused me. The name Space Chimps and it was complete, so sometimes I just buy stuff like that on a lark. See if it's any good. And last but not least, the mystery. Sega Saturn import game that I know nothing about, so I'm gonna give this a try. We'll see. Actually, I'll give these all a try once I get inside, but I like doing this outside first because I know Tango is gonna be all over me once I come indoors because he hasn't seen me for a couple hours, so I will attend to him and bring my lunch in. Got myself a wrap and some corn nuts. A few things that I would enjoy. There's the wrap. There's the Tijava at the bottom. You can see it. All right, the easiest one to test first is going to be Space Chimps. So let's start there. Got my 3DS here ready to go. Just pop it out of the protective case. Pop this bad boy in. Turn it on and see what we get. Nothing? That's not promising. Try that again. There we go. That was programmed by WayForward. That's a plus. Hi, Tango. Told you guys he was going to go nuts when I came in the door. Meow. 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 Well, I have no idea what's going on here, so now that I know it's working, I'll just stop and uh, address him because he's clearly hungry. Hi, buddy. Good to see you, too. Don't show the camera your butthole, please. I've got the rubbing alcohol and the Q-tips ready for this next one, if needed, but hopefully they cleaned it before they sold it. That would always be a welcome sight. No signal. So, Either I have it on the wrong input, or it needs to be cleaned. Let's take a look. No, I'm pretty sure I have it on the 
correct input here. It says N64, so I'm going to guess that means it needs a cleaning. I'm guessing by how dirty this Q-tip got that the theory it needed a cleaning was pretty accurate. So let's give World Cup 98 another try, shall we? There we go. No controller file found. Game cannot be saved. How about we continue without saving? Let's try doing that. It's in the game. That leaves us with one thing left to test. This $5 Sega Saturn import game. So let's see what happens. So far, so good. Ooh, got a nice cinematic intro here. Wizard Harmony. <laughs> And let's just skip over this in case there's a copyright on any of that music. Start. This looks like a classroom or a church. The pews kind of remind me more of a church. Uh, okay. Oh. It's a compound or a school grounds. How do I select a location to go to? Oh, there we go. Okay. And who are you? And what do you mean? And what relevance are your questions? I have no idea. But you know what? I'm satisfied it's a working game. Five bucks well spent.